dozens of golfers from around the UK and Ireland competing for 32 places at the Grand Finals in Egypt. All the action coming up from the Match Play Championship. Welcome to Taba Heights in Egypt on the beautiful Sinai Peninsula to the east of Cairo, the venue for the 2010 Match Play Grand Final. Here's the Match Play Championships' John Woozy to tell us more about the tournament. We've always wanted from the start of the Match Play Championship to have a destination which is totally different. You know, there's so many amateur events out there that you know, take, may take the winners five, six, seven or eight players to maybe Spain or Portugal was the final. We always wanted it to be different, so now we take 32 finalists, men's and mixed pairs, to a destination where that they wouldn't necessarily think of playing, they've probably never played before, um, but really a hidden gem. The event went really well, um, everyone had a fantastic time, but really it was when we actually got back to the UK, with the amount of media exposure which the event now um, receives, turning the winners of the men's and the mixed into celebrities overnight, it was fantastic. Sadly, this is our last year in, uh, in Egypt. We've held the event, the grand final here, for the last three years. The event next year will be held on the Els Club in Dubai. The course there is absolutely magnificent. The chance of you know, amateur golfers from the UK and Ireland to be able to walk down the, the fairways of champions will be quite something. All the finalists for next year are in for a real treat. And uh, we're delighted to say as well that we're increasing the number of the grand finals to 36 from the current 32. In effect, we've created our own race to Dubai. The active and non-active um, element relates to the handicaps for the men's competition. Um, we wanted to preempt what the handicapping authority, Kongu, were going to bring in in 2010, which is a distinction between those players that have entered at least three cards in the last 12-month period, uh, maintaining an active handicap, and those that wouldn't necessarily have entered three cards for whatever reason. Um, so we, have, we wanted to make the competition as inclusive of, as possible to cover all amateur golf as opposed to just those that are playing regularly. I think it's great fun. I think the fact that um, th there's no obstacles to entry in, into this championship really. Uh, it's open to any amateur golfer in the UK. It's all inclusive. Um, if you want to enter and you're a keen golfer, there's no obstacle to entry. Entries close on the 30th of June 2010, so get yours in now and it could be you in next year's grand final at the Els Club in Dubai.